we're out here birding today because, uh, I mean, it's a beautiful spring day. Uh, birds are really starting to come back. It's a great time to hear birds sing and to see them uh, arrive on their territories. Uh, so it's, it's a good time for anybody who uh, wants to be outside to check out birds too. Hi, I'm Tom Auer. I'm a birder and uh, I work at the Cornell Lab of Ornithology as a GIS developer. Tom is always birding. In only 20 minutes, he identified over 20 species along this stretch of the pond at Sapsucker Woods in Ithaca, New York. I've always liked keeping track of the number of birds I see in a year, in a county, or in my life. Uh, it's a great game to play with birding. I used to uh, use a, a, a pencil and paper or a small notebook when I went out in the field to write down the birds that I saw, but now I carry my smartphone with me and I can just open the eBird mobile app and run a checklist the whole time I'm out in the field. eBird is an app that allows any birder with an internet connection to record when, where, and which birds they spot, allowing birders to keep track of all of their lists in one place. Oof. These checklists then become freely available to the greater community, allowing other birders to see where their favorite birds have been spotted, or scientists and conservationists to study birds. Fundamentally, I like using eBird because I can keep track of my own lists, but also it helps me find new birds because I get to use the sightings that other people submit. eBird is one of the biggest citizen science projects, and we uh, submit a lot of data as citizen scientists. Our goal was really to create this central repository where all this information that's already being gathered could be collected in a way that could be used by the greater community. My name's Ian Davies and I'm the eBird project coordinator. One of the reasons that eBird has been so successful is the strength of the birding community. The sense of all these people that have the, the same passion and same driving interests. And so you can basically turn up anywhere in the world and say, oh, what have you seen? And it's this international language that everybody can kind of talk together. So we try to bring folks together that share those interests. And uh, just at the root of it all is, is fun as well. This, this should all be and is hopefully fun. You know, I go out the door birding because I love to see what's changing. Birds are always uh, migrating around or um, exploring new places. And I like doing that too. I am always e-birding, and that doesn't necessarily even mean when I'm uh, birding as a dedicated activity, but I'm always looking for birds, and if something interesting pops up, I'm usually e-birding it. You know, as soon as I use it, I knew, you know, this is the future of birding, is to keep all of my information here, and it's going to get used by somebody. I think at the time I didn't know that that somebody would be me, but uh, I'm really happy that that's the case. Now Tom and his team use e-bird sightings to map out where birds are. They use machine learning algorithms to combine the information from eBird checklists with satellite data describing the landscape. People can't go eBirding everywhere, but we want to know about birds everywhere in their landscape. The uh, analysis that we do allows us to fill in those gaps, is to make estimates uh, in places where there haven't been eBird uh, checklists using neighboring information and so we can learn about the abundance uh, of birds, how many are there, we can learn about the timing of their migration. These results are used to make real conservation decisions. Our eBird uh, status and trends results for uh, bald eagle and golden eagle have been used by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to um, inform the permitting process for wind energy development. So if we uh, know where there are places with not that many eagles, uh, they can uh, enable the wind energy development to move a little faster. This is just one of many conservation decisions and scientific studies that have been made possible by the incredible enthusiasm of birders okay. acting as citizen scientists Check it through all the over binocular. the world. That thing's massive! One of the most amazing things about birds and birding is that they really capture the imagination of people worldwide, across countries and international boundaries, languages. Oh. Everybody kind of likes birds to some degree. What's so exciting with eBird is that every single person, any bird, anywhere can make a difference.